another episode of Kodo Cinema, the podcast show where I talk about movies. I'm your host, Mark Kodo, a.k.a. Kodo Man. So for this episode, uh, the film topic I'm going to talk about is uh, Peter Rabbit. Now, for those of you who are probably wondering, uh, what does Peter Rabbit have to do with this film topic? Well, because obviously Peter Rabbit was a... Because Peter Rabbit is a film adaptation of the classic classic book the tale of peter rabbit by beatrix potter now now most no most notably this film peter rabbit has been playing a lot on tv around um, around easter around easter time most notably the channel of fx so yeah that's technically technically i've been seeing a lot of peter rabbit on fx lately around easter time so i thought i i thought i'd talk about peter rabbit so now, just to give in some context of Peter Rabbit from my point of view, I'm not familiar with the Peter Rabbit tale nor any of the Peter Rabbit characters from from author Beatrix Potter. But uh, but from this film, the film does bring in a lot. Does bring in some of the elements from Beatrix Beatrix pa- from the source material that. The author that the author did for for the books. Now, now the film is now the film itself came out in 2018 as a live action 3D computer animated film based upon the character of the same name created by Beatrix Potter, and is being co-produced by Columbia Pictures and Sony Pictures Animation. So. So the film focuses on the story of Peter Rabbit as he deals, as he deals with new problems when the late Mr. McGregor's great nephew arrives and discovers the trouble Peter's family can get into. So that's basically the plot of the film. But actually, in the story, it focuses more on the on the the original McGregor. Basically, the original McGregor, Mr. McGregor is a gardener is a uh, a gardener who basically you know a gardener likes to grow to grow plants inclu- including fruits and vegetables and of course this brings in like you know and you know how like animal life likes to come into the garden and steal all the crops and food and fruit from the garden well that's basically the point of peter rabbit because peter rabbit love what what loves to go into Mr. McGregor's garden and steal all the all the vegetables most notably vegetables like carrots and watermelon tomatoes or you you name them but of course but of course uh, but of course with this film with the, but of course with this film the film does go a little bit over the top with with the plot with the plot because Mr. McGregor is an uncle a great uncle who has a nephew who has a great nephew who takes over the garden throughout the film so so y'all are probably wondering so who are who are the characters well obviously you have peter rabbit who is being voiced by none other than james corden then he ha- then peter rabbit also has three sisters and a cousin the, the three sisters are flopsy rabbit mopsy rabbit and cottontail rabbit and of course the cousin being ben- benjamin bunny benjamin benjamin bunny is basically the cousin to peter flopsy mopsy and cottontail and of course being the being the nephew to mr rabbit and joseph and josephine so 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 basically yeah so basically yeah there you have it with the ra- with all the ra- with all the rabbits but it also includes other characters from the world of Beatrix Potter, which includes Mrs. Miss T- Miss Tiggy Winkle, a hedgehog being voiced by C- by Sia, Mr. Mr. Ger- Mr. Jeremy Fisher, who is basically a frog being voiced by Dom Dom Domino Gleason, Jemmy Ma Puddle Duck being voiced by Rose Byrne, Tommy Brock. Tommy Brock is basically a badger being voiced by Sam Neill. Mr. Todd, Mr. Todd basically is basically a fox, and then uh, and then by being played by a fa- by by being played by Faiso Bazi, and of course you have Pigling Bland being voiced by Ewen Leslie. 
among many other care among ma- many other characters from the world of Beatrix Potter as well, including Johnny Town Mouse being voiced by David Wenham. Now, now there are there are human characters in this film, which includes uh, which includes Mr. McGregor being played by Sam Neill. So basically, Sam Neill has a dual role in the Peter Rabbit film, and of course, you also have. Rose Byrne play, be, Ro, Rose Byrne be, Rose Byrne plays Bia, the owner of the rabbits, and the basically the owner of the rabbits. Of course, this is also a little nod to the original author Beatrix Potter, and of course you have Dom Domhnall Gleeson being be, playing Thomas R- McGregor, the great nephew to Mister McGregor. So th- here are, these are basically the main characters. Of the, the main human characters of the film. So the so the film so as I mentioned, the film came out in 2018. Although of course, although of course, it has been played around Easter time ta- Easter time on on the FX TV channel. So so the film was released in 20, 2018 to mixed reviews. I mean, some 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 so some people actually liked the film, although many cri- critics. Took note that it that the film deviates uh, a lot from the source material. Although it grossed three hundred fifty one point three million dollars on a fifty do- on a fifty million dollar budget, so so technically it was a it was a success at the box office, which spawned a sequel, Peter Rabbit Two: The Runway. So anyway, I mean, uh, so anyway, what do I think about the film? Well, I thought the film was okay. I mean. I didn't think it was a great film. I mean, I had a lot of fun watching the film. It's, it's not a masterpiece by any, by anything, but it, it was certainly a film that I can at least you know watch just 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 watch. I mean, I I then I think it's an okay film. I didn't think it was great, but I thought it was an okay film. Just a silly you know, just just a silly film. Just a silly film to watch. I, I thought the film was pretty silly at times, knowing the fact that well, yet the plot follows Peter Rabbit, who basically wants to, you know, basically basically the plot of Peter Rabbit basically having problems with the late Mr. McGregor's great nephew who basically gets into a lot gets into trouble between the two between the two leads. So anyway so anyway, let me hop along let me hop along the bunny trail because I am going to talk about Peter Rabbit. So the film opens up in in England's Lake District, Peter Rabbit being voiced by James Corden, his cousin Benjamin Bunny, and his triplet sisters Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail. By the way, but by the way, but but by the by the way, um, Benjamin Bunny is being played by Colin Moody, and of course the sister, the rabbit sisters, are being voiced by Margot Robbie, Elizabeth Debicki, Debicki, and Daisy Ridley. So so uh, so the rabbits spend most of their days picking on old Mr. McGregor, who had killed and eaten their father, and stealing vegetables from his garden. Now that's actually basically the the main pl- one of the basically the main plot in the original Peter Rabbit tale, from what I heard. And of course, and of course, the opening of this film does follow a little bit of the book pretty well, pretty well for most of it. Up until the point, up until the point where, up until the point where, where Mr. McGregor meets his fate. So anyway, so anyway, so anyway, the rabbits are friends with a kind-hearted local resident named Bia, being voiced, being played by Rose Byrne, who took on on a motherly role with the rabbits ever since their mother's death, and who and spends her time painting pictures of the rabbits as well as the surrounding nature. Okay, so first of all, Beatrix. So first of all, uh, Bia is an original character for the fi- for the film. She wasn't a she wasn't a main character in the original Peter Rabbit tale. Well, that's because this is the this is basically the author honoring the author. You know, paying tribute to the author of the original book, Beatrix po- Beatrix Potter. To which in the li- to which in the 2022 Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, the film opened up with. Geppetto having a son named Carlo, which also honors the original author Carlo Collati. So it wasn't really the first time. So so technically, so technically it wasn't really the first time. So technically it wasn't really the first time where you have an original character being named after after a famous author or or a literature. 
So, hey, so anyway, so anyway, we even get to see, we even get to see a, a painting sequence, painting sequence, most notably in, in, uh, in hand-drawn animation, where we see, where we, where we get to see Peter Rabbit, his sis, his sisters and cousin, basically have, having a good, having a good life with the fam, with the family, basically the mother and the father, also showing how, how Peter Rabbit's father met his fate of being of being killed by Mr. McGregor because we find out that Mr. McGregor turned Peter Rabbit's father into a pie. So basically he cooked up Peter Rabbit's father into a pie. So this also so so basically yeah. But actually the one part in one part of the film Peter Rabbit loses his his blue jacket and this blue jacket came from his fa came from his father. And it, and it was given to him by his and it was given to him from from his mother after after finding out that that Peter Rabbit's mom finally finding out that that Peter Rabbit's father passed away or or died by being turned into a pie. So anyway, Peter Rabbit was forced to leave his jacket in Mr. McGregor's garden and goes back to retrieve it. And the reason why, well, because because Peter Rabbit went inside the garden. Now here's the thing about this this part. In the original tale, he lost the jacket. Peter Rabbit lost the blue jacket because because he went into the garden and escaped after being tra after being trapped after being trapped. Now, now, but now, but actually, in the book, in the book, he Peter Rabbit gets sick. He gets a stomachache. He gets a stomachache. He gets a stomach ache, and the book ends with Mrs. Rabbit putting Peter to bed and giving him some some tea to cure his stomach ache, while while the rest of the fam while the rest of the of the rabbit family enjoy a delicious dinner of milk, bread, and blackberries. Now that's how the original book ends. That's how the original book ends. Mr. McGregor did not die in the book, but in this film, in this film. Mr. McGregor, who caught Peter red-handed, he 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 was close to making Peter close into making another pie out of Peter Rabbit, but somehow Mr. McGregor, being played by Sam Neill, by the way, this is Sam Neill playing Mr. McGregor. He Mr. McGregor dies of a heart attack, having lived an unhealthy lifestyle, including smoking and a poor poor diet for many years. Enthralled, Peter invites all of the local animals and takes over Mr. McGregor's manor. Now that seems pretty messed up. That is messed up because never, never I thought I'd see Mr. McGregor die, dying in front of Peter Rabbit, and then Peter Rabbit, Peter Rabbit celebrates by stealing the vegetables, giving it all to, giving it to his siblings and cousin, to to so to know that Mr. McGregor is no more. So basically brings in all the animals from the outside from the outside to come into the garden. And now Peter Rabbit has become, well, famous. Now he's famous now he's famous because because a lot of people think because a lot of the animals think Peter Rabbit killed Mr. McGregor, which was not true. Mr. McGregor died of a heart attack. So on the other side of London, McGregor's great nephew, Thomas McGregor, being played by Dom O'Gleason. He is an uptight, controlling workaholic. Works in the toy department of Her Herod's, where he he waits for a promotion to a to associate general manager. Now, 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 Mister, now Thomas McGregor, Thomas McGregor, he is basically he's somewhat of he does get he is a bit of an annoying character at times. I mean, he's a bit over the top too. I mean, of course, I mean, of course, um. Of course, this wasn't the first character that Domo Gleason played was over the top. Remember General Hux in, in this in that one scene in this in the speech scene in Star Wars: The Force Awakens. Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, I remember that one. Now this one, now in this one, basically Thomas McGregor, Thomas McGregor has a bit of a mental breakdown when he realizes that he didn't get that he lost a promotion to to. To to a he lost a promotion to a lazy nephew of the managing director. Plus, also, also learning that his that his great uncle died. Thomas Thomas loses his temper and gets fired. And of course, and of course, uh, Thomas Thomas 
Thomas learns of the of the play of the house that that his great uncle lives and decides to move over there for a while. And the reason why he does that just so he can you know sell sell the pl- just so he can sell the place just to get money and open up his own toy store. So. So so over at the so over at the McGregor house, Peter Rabbit and all of his buddies are partying inside the house. But the party doesn't last. But the party doesn't last long, long until Thomas R- McGregor comes in. He scares all the animal. He scared he he is scared of all the animals inside the house. He kicks out all, he kicks out every he kicks everybody out of the house, including Peter Rabbit, and begins to upgrade the security of the garden wall and gates. And when Peter and a reluctant Benjamin sneak back into the garden, Thomas catches the ladder, and the ladder being uh, being Benjamin, because Benjamin has a character flaw. And I do find it funny on the character flaw part, because because um, Benjamin has a bit of a character flaw, because you know Benjamin's basically he's kind of the the sort the, the stick in the the stick in the mud, I should say. He's basically the stick in the mud, where he's basically told by Peter Rabbit what to do because you know Peter Rabbit and his cousin are basically basically teammates but you know what Peter Rabbit is more of a troublemaker is more of a troublemaker because you know it's Peter Rabbit but I also do like this joke where but I do like the joke but I do like this joke that he gives to one of his sisters about character flaw he he asks uh, I mean he tell he tells one of his sisters I mean I, I'm bringing my cousin in because he has a character flaw. You get your own character flaw. This is more of an in, I feel like that's more of an in joke to um, I feel like that's more of an in joke to uh, Daisy Ridley, I believe because Daisy Ridley voices one of the bunnies in in Peter Rabbit, but also the fact that she played Ray Skywalker to which a lot of people are saying that she, that Ray Skywalker or should I say Ray does not have her character ha, does not have a character flaw and I'm and I'm I'm just left being stunned by saying well well so I, I'm just left stunned just to say like <laughs> well I guess Ray doesn't have a character flaw in in the Star Wars sequel, sequel trilogy I mean, I I feel like I see that as more of an in joke, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people will probably take it in a different way. I'm just saying because Peter Rabbit just said, just just said, you get your own character flaw because because his cousin has a character flaw. Yeah, and so does Peter Rabbit. I'm pretty sure Peter Rabbit has a character flaw. Yeah. So any so so anyway, uh, Mr. McGregor. So Mr. M- so Thomas Mc- McGregor takes Benjamin over to you know over over to a bridge outside outside of outside outside of the countryside to drown Benjamin but what he doesn't realize is that the bag was switched out by by uh, by Benjamin's uh, cousins for binoculars that Bia had given him earlier earlier which also going back to going back to a, to a couple scenes later um, Thomas and Bia meet for the first time, and we do see Thomas and Bia interact a little bit. This also does hint like they're gonna build a relationship, even though they first met. But Bia does give give Thomas a welcome, a welcome, a a welcome gift, which is basically binoculars, just to see you know, just to see the wildlife, which also inspires, uh, also inspires Thomas to you know keep a book of birds. You know, it's basically bird watching. Bird watching, I should say, because Thomas McGregor it goes goes to do bird watching, basically searching for birds, searching for birds in the sky, which is actually a pretty nice hobby because because Thomas McGregor later on write, writes in his writes in his journal of the birds that he sees in the sky, which 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 is basically which is basically, you know, nice little hobby. You know, which is basically a nice little, nice little hobby. You know, bird watching, check, seeing all, looking for all the birds in the sky. If you know what I'm saying, if you know what I'm saying. So anyway, Thomas back at the bridge, angry, angry at the fact that he dropped his binoculars into the river. He tries to buy an electric fence and a supply of dynamite to ward off the rabbits. And of course, um, Thomas uh, gives Bia a ride back to the house. And they end up falling in love with each other, much to Peter's jealousy. So we get a crazy montage of of Thomas and Bia in a 
you know, going, building up a relationship. Building up a relationship throughout the film. We do get a pretty, pretty, pretty nice seat, pretty nice uh, montage of it. We also get to see Peter Rabbit and and his family being jealous. This is where Peter starts to get jealous because Peter believes that if Bia takes Thomas in, then they they and they'll they they'll lose the the mother the mother the mother the motherly human that they that they used to look that they used to love or that they used to be washed over because 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 peter lost his parent lost his parents he doesn't have any parents anymore and he looks up to he looks up to bia as the as the as as a mother basically basically he basically peter Rabbit looks up to bia as a mother figure but uh, but but now he's jealous. Peter is jealous. Peter is jealous, and this leads up to a to a to a scene where he and Thomas start a war with each other by by setting traps and other up uh, and other you know other obstacles. So <laughs> so basically basically the first part of that is where Peter Peter Rabbit tries to tries to tries to beat up Thomas inside uh, Bia studio which goes into a crazy into crazy moments where whenever Bia comes back Thomas and Peter Rabbit just you know just be casual for a moment like like they start to cuddle like they start to cuddle with each other Peter they start to cuddle with each other Peter and Thomas read a book and of course Peter and Thomas looking at looking at a painting because they thought because they thought you know they thought they will get caught by Bia after realizing that they're just fighting each other. But you know that's their typical that's their typical cliche where you know somebody walks back in and you realize like oh wait oh wait act casual. <laughs> that's basically the the thing of that film with, between Peter and Thomas. And of course this this all ends up this all ends up with Peter ruining one of Bia's pictures because because uh, Thomas puts a paintbrush inside. Peter's mouth and and he and he just you know he wants he I don't know if it's I don't know I don't know what he was trying to do with the paintbrush but what I do know that the, the brush was inside his mouth he, well I think the thing is he was trying to stop he he, t he tries to tell Peter to stop the to stop fighting but unfortunately you know the brush was in Peter's mouth P Peter just like moves his head back and forth and and mess and the paintbrush mess mess just makes a mess on one of Bia's paintings and and then of course and then of course um Bia walks in and scolds Peter for ru for ruining her painting and she kicks him out of the studio she kicks him out of the studio much to the surprise of not only Peter but also his siblings and cousin and then this is where war starts between the bunnies and Tom and Thomas McGregor. So yeah. Also the bunnies also real also also the bunnies realize that Thomas McGregor is allergic to uh, blackberries, and that actually comes back later on in the film. That actually comes back later on in the film, and I'll, I will get to that pretty soon. And. And because they because they think like because they think like they 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 think because Peter Rabbit thinks like how does a how does a human how does a human have allergies? That's what Peter Rabbit thinks. Well, first of all, Peter's an animal. Peter Rabbit is an animal. Thomas McGregor basically you basically a human, and you know humans do have certain allergies too. So and well, hum, well, basically humans have allergies. I don't know. Much, I mean, I don't know much about animals. I mean, I don't know if animals do have allergies. I think there are. I think there are certain animals who that do have allergies to certain things. I it, it probably some. They probably do. Though I could be completely wrong. I could be completely wrong. But anyway. But anyway. But any anyway, uh, Thomas sets up an electric fence. To you know, basically, basically, you know, to electrocute the rabbits, but he, but he tries to bait them with peanut butter, which brings in Mrs. Uh, Tig, Tig, Tiggy Winkles, the hedgehog that Sia voices, and she 
she bites on the electric fence that has a peter butter on it and she she gets electrocuted only for her spikes to come flying out of her back and she's still alive basically mrs tiggy wiggles is basically like the um I, I believe she's basically like the old granny basically tough old granny like hey uh, hey ain't nothing about that that fence ain't gonna kill me well your spikes got your spikes were were your, well your spikes flew off by the way mrs tiggy winkles so anyway um peter rabbit came up with a plan to like back to rewire the electric fence to give thomas a shock when he touches any doorknob leading to the outside, prompting Thomas to throw the dynamite, prompting Thomas to throwing dynamites in a rabbit hole. Now, before going to the dynamite part, I got to get to the blueberry part. But let me talk about the whole electric fence part. The electric fence part where Thomas gets shocked, I thought it was pretty funny because at times, like, Thomas tries to, you know, tries to leave. But he finds out that the rabbits literally... Um, rewired everything everything into the house like where wherever whatever metal object that thomas touches he gets elect he gets electrocuted and shocked too to the point where he goes up to the roof and gets shocked and gets shocked multiple times landing from the top of the roof to to the garden and peter rabbit thinks that Tom, thomas mcgregor is dead Unfortunately, that's not the case. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Huh. I know a certain McGregor who actually had the high ground in a famous film. If you know what I'm saying. And he and he and he succeeded. So now the next day, so the next day Thomas McGregor goes into the goes into the guard goes into the garden to, you know, check out, you know, just to see Bia, but also knowing the fact that the rabbits are also attacking again. The rabbits, the rabbits are basically throwing blackberries at Thomas McGregor, at Thomas McGregor, and unfortunately, one of the blackberries goes into Thomas's mouth, resulting in a resulting in an allergic reaction, which for, which actually has Thomas pulling out his epipen and. And basically, you know, you, you, you know, an allergic reaction. With an allergic reaction, you gotta put in the met, you gotta put in the adrenaline to help, to help stop that reaction. And it did. Okay, so a lot of people really pointed out this scene where Peter Rabbit and the bunnies all were, were all throwing uh, blackberries at Thomas McGregor to the point where uh, one of the blackberries went inside Mr. McGregor's mouth. That scene, that 10 second scene, it was about 10 seconds, made headlines on the news to the fact that many parents believe that encouraged, that encouraged uh, their kids, you know, basically, you know, you know, bowl to, you know, this is like a food allergy bowling, bowling scene. Who, are ba who basically have food, uh, food allergies of some sort. A lot of people, that's where, that's where some of the, that's where many of the parents question that scene and that and that made headlines but the fact is but the thing is there are far worse moments in that film knowing the fact that thomas mcgregor had dynamite he actually had dynamite in this film and he and he trying to blow up peter rabbit with it he even gets hit in the head multiple times with a bunch of garden rakes he even gets his hands stuck in bear traps. And not to mention the whole electric fence re rewiring sequence where he gets electrocuted inside his home. Oh, well, inside his uncle's home. So a lot of people really took that scene. So a lot of people, so a lot of people don't have a problem with those scenes, but they have a problem with the food allergy scene. Now look, I understand that the whole food allergy, though I understand that food allergy is meant to be taken serious. Look, I understand that, but this is a but this is a movie at the end of the day, really. In this scene, this scene is to show you that what Peter Rabbit did was wrong. What Peter Rabbit did to Thomas McGregor was wrong. 
like right he found out about the he found out that he was allergic to black to blackberries but what he did was wrong what he did was wrong he almost killed the guy what he did was what he did was wrong and that's and and a lot of people are not understanding the context of the scene not only was it wrong that peter rabbit did it but the reason why he did it because he didn't want to lose bia to thomas like the rabbits did everything in their power to 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 try and get rid of to, to get rid of thomas you know by basically basically attacking thomas with with his own traps with uh, with alongside with all alongside with attacking in the garden and then that's where you get your whole blackberry in, in allergic reaction and of course the whole dynamite sequence they try they're literally bull, bullying thomas be, they're bullying thomas because because they're afraid because they're afraid they're afraid because the rabbits are afraid that thomas will get in a relationship with bia and then they'll move on to a happy life, losing at lo losing the rabbits, losing the rabbits in general. And and that's basically basically the whole point of this film. The rabbits are trying to get rid of Thomas McGregor now, because also another reason because because the rabbits believe that Thomas McGregor is another cranky old McGre cranky old McGregor because the original Mr. McGregor was a cranky old man. And the rabbits also believe that Thomas McGregor may also be the may also be the exact same McGregor that that the original Mr. McGregor was. But I will say this: in my, it's a movie. It's it's literally a movie because we find out later on that what Peter because what we find out later on that that beat that the the tree that the tree that 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 the dynamite destroyed destroyed. Bia's art studio. It took down Bia's art studio, and the rabbits realized that. What realize they crossed the line. The rabbits crossed the line. Sure, yes, Mr. McGregor, Tom, Mr. Thomas McGregor crossed the line too. But the thing it crossed the line too with the whole you know buying dynamite. But but the thing is, they both they both crossed the line. They both crossed the line. But it's more. But but in, but Mr. McGregor. But Mr. Thomas McGregor gets gets most 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 of the flack instead of Peter Rabbit because Peter Rabbit is a bunny and Bia cares for the wildlife. But the thing was Peter Rabbit is more guilty than Thomas McGregor because because after realizing that that Peter Rabbit detonated the detonated the dynamite and which also destroys the tree in the art studio, he reali he realized that he realized that he realized that he what he did was too far, and he's like, "What have I done? What have I done?" Peter Rabbit re just just literally destroyed his home. He destroyed his home. How is that not making headlines when there's a food allergy scene in question getting more headlines than that? And that was in 2018, by the way. That was in 2018, by the way. There, I mean, because. Because they're 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 you can pinpoint any any slash you can pinpoint any scene, you can nitpick any scene, but but they had to choo choose out the food allergy. Now yes, I get it, I get it. Food, I get it. It's not it's not a it's not a light topic. It's a heavy topic. Allergies are definitely a heavy topic. I get it, I get it. But for a film, but for for a film like but having it being played as a messed up scene in a film like Peter Rabbit. It's meant to tell. It's meant to. It's meant to tell you that this is wrong. You should not do that. You, like it's telling. It's literally telling audiences, audiences, you should not bully people like this. You should not bully people like this. But of course, but of course, Peter Rabbit realizes this, and I like how how that that message comes in. What Peter Rabbit did was being a bolt was being a bully to Thomas McGre to Thomas McGregor, even though. Yeah, I guess you can make the argument that Thomas McGregor is basically a bully too, but it's mostly Peter Rabbit because Peter got jealous. Peter was jealous of of Thomas McGregor and and Bia because Thomas because Peter is afraid that he'll lose Bia, like how he lost his parents. But sometimes, you know, you know the old saying: if you love something, set them free. 
that was basically the point because like one of the other themes is is loss is the theme of loss and grief because because uh, peter peter and thomas lost something in this film peter lost his parents and thomas lost not only his great uncle that he never knew of, never knew of but also his promotion his pro- his promotion so yeah that was that was definitely some that was definitely something so basically with the, at the end of that of the, at the end of that scene where um peter peter destroys his home with all the dynamite that he detonated he realized what he did was wrong what he did what he did to thomas mcgregor with all the traps was wrong what he did with the blackberry was wrong too even though it was from one of his sisters but but that but but that was actually that was actually from peter's plan but what he, what he, what he did giving mr thomas mcgregor an allergic reaction is wrong and of course blowing up his own house or home i should say is wrong so this whole this whole sequence this whole entire so this whole entire sequence with all the traps and of course the the allergic reaction and the in the dynamite it's t- also telling you that it's wrong and i just don't get it why people are complaining only complaining about the the allergic reaction scene look i get it and look i understand look i understand that that look i understand look i understand that but at the end of the day it's a movie it's a movie at the end of the day it's a it's a movie it's a movie at the end of the day. I feel like people are taking that whole that whole scene way right too seriously, with many people not understanding the context of this of this scene. And I mentioned that already because Peter, because Peter doesn't want to lose B. Pia doesn't want to lose Bia to Thomas in this relationship. Peter doesn't want to lose lose Bia want to lose Bia to Thomas. That's the whole thing. But he was jealous. But he was jealous. He was jealous of it, and he and he actually realized the mistakes right after setting off the dynamite. Okay, so I know I've talked. Okay, so I know this was dragging on a little bit, but moving on. Um, Thomas McGregor. So anyway, Thomas McGregor. Thomas McGregor ends up uh, leaving uh, his great uncle's house and ignores Thomas's explanation of the rabbit's involvement, which ends the relationship between the between the two so thomas returns to london you know and ends up you know a- actually getting his job back at the at that one toy store that he got fired from peter peter feels remorseful for the damage his recklessness has caused and upon learning that bia intends to leave the neighborhood he and benjamin head to london to bring back thomas and of course, they also meet up with uh, with a with a mouse, a town a town with a you know a town mouse name, you know a town mouse being voiced by David Wenham. I do like the mo- I do like this whole sequence where that this town mouse just gives um, Peter and Benjamin the tour of London, which I thought was pretty cute and funny. I mean, it was pretty funny. So so Peter and Benjamin right. Get gets to the toy store right after the after the town after the town mouse mouse gives a tour, they find um, they find uh, they find Thomas inside the store having another mental breakdown, realizing that it's Peter Rabbit because he believes Peter Rabbit ru- just ruined his life, which Peter Rabbit did. But Peter Rabbit wants to make up for it by telling by telling him that. That Bia is moving away. That Bia is moving away. So Peter encouraged him, encouraged Thomas to follow his heart. So that's what Thomas did. Thomas leaves the toy store. They and they travel back to his great uncle's house. So they. So Peter. Peter has the animals. Ha, well, actually, not just Peter. Uh, Peter's sisters have the animals stop Bia from leaving. And when Tom and when Thomas and Peter come back, they try to explain. Thomas tries to exp- tries to explain to be uh, the situation what happened. And at one point, and at one point, and at one point, she almost believes it, saying because of the fact that Thomas just accepts full responsibility, saying, "Oh my he- my hero," admitting his own screw ups. Yes, 
yes, because of the fact, yes, because of the fact that, you know, Thomas was the one who bought the dynamite, but not even realizing who pushed the button. When it was Peter Rabbit who pushed the button. This is where Peter Rabbit steps for, steps forward and confesses to Bia that he de- he that he pushed the button. He pushed the button on the detonator, the detonator to blow up to blow up the dynamite. And Bia was like, "You were in on this too." I mean, yeah, he he kind of was. He was because Peter Rabbit doesn't want to lose Bia, even though. It made things worse. It made a lot of things worse for. It made a lot of things worse between the two because, it really does show that you know, even though Peter Rabbit may be a cute little bunny, but at the same time, what Peter did was very reckless, and and rude. So so basically so basically, B Bia forgives both Thomas and and Peter Rabbit and decided not to move away. Peter and the other animals even drove, drove away an unpleasant wealthy couple who had bought the house that Thomas actually sold. So, so much like so much like at the beginning of the film where where the animals took over the house, the animals took over the house, and of course, uh, and of course, the rabbits also rewired the electric fence to what just like what they did to Thomas in the middle of the film. So Thomas and Bia resume their relationship and he allows the wildlife to take food from the garden without reason. Peter and his family restore the burrow and the yard with Thomas and Bia's help and Thomas sets up his own toy toy store in the village where Bia showcases her paintings of the rabbits. And that's where the film ends. So there you have it. That's basically Peter Rabbit. Now, I didn't think the film was... I didn't think the film was great. I mean, it was a it was a fine film. I, I I had a lot of fun with it. It wasn't a masterpiece or anything. I know people had different views of the film, but at the end of the day, really, I mean, it's a film that you can definitely watch and have fun with and have fun with. So so basically, yeah. And I know a lot. And of course, I know a lot of people pointed out the the allergies, the whole blue blackberry allergy scene. But let's be honest with you. But let's be honest with you. There are far worse things in that film than just the out al- than just the the blue the, the blackberry allergy see- scene. There were far more worse things that happened in that film. Basically, for what Peter Rabbit did to Thomas McGregor, the voice casting in this film was was fun. The voice casting in this film was fine. I know a lot of people picked on James Corden, particularly you know because James Corden has different political views. But you know what? I thought James Corden was fine as Peter Rabbit. I mean. I mean, he he was okay. He was okay. I like the rest of the voice voice casting too. I mean, Donald Donald Gleason. I mean, he was definitely over the top, but I thought he put up a fun. He put he, but I thought he had fun with the role. Rose Byrne was also pretty sol- Was also solid at solid as the role of Bia as well. So that was pretty good. The story itself. I mean, the story was okay. I mean, I mean, I didn't think the story was great, but overall, I thought the story. I thought overall, I thought the film was okay. Much, much, much to the surprise that it had a, that it spawned a sequel, a few years later. So anyway, there you have it. So what are your thoughts on the Peter Rabbit film? Like, what did you think of it? Did you think the film was okay? Did you not like the film? Did you thought the film was good? I, I would like to hear your thoughts about this. So anyway, that that will wrap up the episode. So thank you all for tuning into Kodo Cinema. I'm your host, Mark Kodo, aka Kodo Man. Remember to watch movies and stay positive.